Yeah, the sheriff says there are more victims out there in other states. The details of this case are very disturbing and you will be likely shocked when you see how calm the suspect was when he met the sheriff for the first time. Take a look. Are you Peter Padgett? Are you Peter? Is your date of birth 11 2 11 3rd. 11 3 all right. My name is Sheriff Chris Swanson. You're in custody by the Genesee County Sheriff's Office. Do you understand that? I do. Extradited back to Michigan, authorities say this 22-year-old Florida man sexually assaulted a 12-year-old girl last month after flying from southeastern Florida to Detroit. They say he rented a car, drove to Flint, where he met the girl, took her to a hotel room, sexually assaulted her, and videotaped the whole encounter. The two met on social media. It was just a simple direct message on Instagram, which all of us use. And he convinced her that he was going to come up and they were going to make a trade. But Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson says there was no talk of romance or anything sexual for that matter. The trade had to do with something else entirely unrelated. He convinced her that he would pay her in cryptocurrency and she would use that for a gaming app. Authorities found out about the alleged sexual assault nearly a month after it happened, after the girl's family took her to an area hospital for a medical evaluation. But he also, from then till now, flew to Washington State and assaulted a 16-year-old, and then went from Washington to Oregon and assaulted a 14-year-old. An alleged serial sexual predator charged with nine felony counts in Michigan, authorities are working to determine if there are even more victims. We're going to take you to this, this police car. We're going to put you in uh, the back. We're going to transport you to Flint, Michigan. Do you understand that? I do. Understand. Let's go. Sheriff Swanson stresses the importance of getting these predators off the streets quickly. If we've not arrested them, it would continue to go and more people would have been assaulted. And it's really, really important for parents to look at this story as a cautionary tale and to have that conversation with their children about who they're talking to and what they're talking to them about. At Detroit Metro, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. And monitor their social media as well, Camille. I mean, this is just so frightening about this one young girl and what he was able to get away with and that there were so many potentially other victims out there that could have been violated as well. Well, yeah, I mean, we know of the Oregon case and the Washington case and were there cases prior to that? I mean, we don't know. But yeah, this was not anything about romance or I want to kiss you or I want to be your boyfriend. This was simply about cryptocurrency and gaming. There was no uh, talk of anything. So this girl innocently thought she was meeting this person for something that she was interested in. And just lo and behold, this horrible thing happened. Uh, really, it, you know, it, it goes to show you that it, anything can happen out there on social media. And to make matters worse, this guy was a security guard in Florida at a local college. Taryn, Root, oh. back to you. Well, I think a, a lot of parents tonight are happy he's in custody. Thank you, Camille.